Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Ben Riley Spider-Man, that also is Spider-Carnage. Um, so here he is in the package, says Legends Series, Spider-Man Edge of Spider-Verse. Side here it shows the Ben Riley Spider-Man. Side here it says, shows the Gwen, uh, Spider-Gwen. On the back here it shows both Spider-Gwen and Ben Riley Spider-Man. And then it shows the rest of the figures in the wave, and Exorbit Man on the top here, along with the Spider logo. So we'll go ahead and get this guy open and check out. Uh, ben Riley Spider-Man and Spider Carnage. All right, guys. So here's uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man along with Spider Carnage out of the package. Again, I always buy two of them so I can build the two different versions of Exorbi Man. Also, so they come with the arms of Exorbi Man. These look really cool. It's just got the one pretty plain flesh arm with the fist, and it's got the more of like a metal arm, which looks really nice. Here, let me get this camera a little closer so you guys can check it out. It looks really cool. I like how it kind of fades into the skin, but it's got a nice um, silver shine to it. Really nicely done. Definitely reminds me of Toy Biz. Very cool. Nice looking arm. All right. So then he also comes with, sorry for the blurry picture, tons of interchangeable hands like we've seen with the Pizza Spider-Man along with the Scarlet Spider-Man. But you can see he's got the wall, like kind of like the wall crawling hands, the fist, and the flipping hands right there. And he also comes with the carnage head and carnage hands. All right, so first we'll go ahead and check out uh, the Ben Riley Spider-Man. I think he looks really cool actually. I really like him. I really think he turned out nice. Uh, it definitely is the same head sculpt as the Pizza Spider-Man, but I think the webbing turned out really nice. I like how the eyes are sculpted. It's got the nice black around them along with the um, nice clear white. It's really nice and clean. But I think the webbing turned out great. I mean, it looks really nice. There's not too many, uh... Actually, the head looks perfect to me. Looks really cool. I'm going to rest the body. I do not have the Hasbro one um, to compare him with later on. He just never was a figure I thought he was cool. I just did not like how that one looked. I think this one looks way better. But going over the rest of the figure, you can. Re I really like how the black spider is painted on there. I think the lines are nicely done. You can see on the armpit joint, they continue on. Just looks really cool, nice and clean. Go along the back, continues on perfectly. Uh, it's definitely the same body as Spider-Man 2099. Got the little peg for the web cape. But it looks really good. I really like how all the lines turned out. You can see they look really nice. A little, you know, some of the black's always hard to get into those little creases, but overall I think the line work, look, even on the neck, I think the neck looks great. Uh, it gets a little sloppy right there, but not, you know, it's hard when those two pieces of plastic come together. But overall, it looks really cool, and it continues with that uh, darker blue plastic. He is a little warped from the packaging, so I'll have to warm him up to straighten out his arms. This one's kind of worse than the other one. I like it's got the little web shooters right there. It looks really cool. The fisted hand turned out really nice. Maybe with a little flipping hand. It's really cool. And then going down the rest of the figure, it continues with that uh, darker blue, and then it's got the nice webbing on his legs. Gets a little sloppy on this one right there. Not too bad. You can see a little blue, sh the black's got a little blotchy right there too. On this side, a lot better. Looks really clean. But I think the thing looks really cool. Looks really nice. Really cool looking Spider-Man. All right, going to the Spider Carnage. I think he looks awesome. I really like the head sculpt. It's the same one that we've gotten from the other Carnage. Just got a different paint job. But it looks really clean. His other head, I did in the, this one's eyes are kind of sloppy. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, zoom in, you can see some of the blotchiness right there. The other one that it came with, um, it's a little cleaner on this side, but it was this side that kind of bugged me. So it's kind of, you get to kind of pick your poison, I guess. But overall, I think they both turned out decent. Actually, they turned out really good to me. It's just the eyes are always kind of, kind of always... It always seems like the eyes are always the hard part, <laughs> but overall the webbing turned out really clean, nice lines. Same thing with the neck on him, but the hands look really cool. I really like these hands, look really nice. On some of the other ones, um, sorry if this is boring, uh, there's some of the black kind of showing through the red, so that's what made me pick some of these other hands. But overall I think it looks really cool, very nicely done. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go over the articulation, so his head looks up about that far. Most Spider-Mans look really good, look down very far, look left and right, also has the nice little rocker on the, the ball joint, it's got the nice armpit joint, can also move shoulders out, and down, back, 
bring it forward and it moves to me. Yeah, some of the paint's kind of missing right there, but looks really good. And then um, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. It's got the wrist rotation and also the hinge at the wrist. It's got a nice ab crunch, crunches forward, paints all the way up. Really nice, crunches back, all nicely painted. Uh, it's got a waist swivel and kicks forward. Kicks are actually really high up. Uh, not the best splits for a Spider-Man. He's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot rotation, ankles move down nice and tight and up, and a nice ankle rocker with pickles on his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Spider-Man is. All right, guys, so Spider-Man stands roughly at six inches, which is nice, and Spider-Man Carnage, or Spider-Carnage, is a little, just a hair over six inches. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so here's a little comparison with the other uh, Spider-Woman. You can kind of see the similarities of their suits, which is really cool. Good little pair. And also, you can, here's the Pizza Spider-Man. So you guys can kind of see the same head sculpt. Just this one definitely, there's different paints in red. This is almost like a lighter red on him compared to this one. Looks really cool. And... Bring in Carnage, so you can see Sp Carnage next to Spider Carnage. You can definitely tell it's the same uh, head sculpt, just the eyes are more of a pearlized white, but you can see in the mouth, definitely painted differently. But head, same head sculpt, different hands. The hands on the left hand are the same. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. They look a little, they look a little different, but not. I think it's just from the packaging. Same hands, so ignore that comment. <laughs> But overall, I think it looks really cool. Very cool. Actually, it would have been cool to kind of swap their heads, but you can't with that Spider-Man webbing. But that would look cool with that yellow mouth. But there you go, guys. <clears throat> That's my review of the Ben Riley Spider-Man along with the spider Carnage. Hope you guys liked it. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great night.